Hello everyone, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy spooky Saturday to you. Join me as we delve into another true, terrifying, user-submitted story. Warning, the following content you are about to hear may involve certain phrases or words that could be triggering to some who have gone through them. Sound effects used to enhance immersion may also be of discomfort for some. This is your heads up. Viewer discretion is advised. Story 7. It Stalked the Tree Line. Hello there, paranormal poet. This story may be a hard one to believe, but I know what I saw. My name is Kendall and to call a dog a dog, I saw a Bigfoot stalking my Wisconsin property in the tree line that surrounds my house. The day was April 17th, 2016. I was 10 years old then. It was around spring, and I had just gotten home after a long day out with my parents. We began settling in for the night. I prepared to hop in bed and sleep but something in me just couldn't. It was like I had a little more energy I needed to release. So I went to my computer and started watching YouTube videos. About 30 minutes in, through my headphones, I hear a loud pack of coyotes outside my house. The family dog, a German shepherd puppy, perked his ears and looked at where the sound came from. Curious, I went outside with him on a leash to my room's balcony. The darkness made it eerie, but what was even eerier was the sound of the coyotes went away and only one coyote was howling now. This gave me an uneasy feeling. Why was there one lone howler now? That question was answered for me. The tree line begins 50 feet and continues for a few miles. Out of the blue, my dog begins to growl and become agitated. He was staring at something that seemed to be bigger than him. He would never bark or growl at dogs or people or anything smaller than him. So I grabbed my flashlight and shined in the direction he was looking. That's when I saw him. I caught the eye shine of something that was eight feet tall and the eyes were piercing. It was standing in between two trees, clearly stalking me from afar. I was petrified. Didn't move an inch for ten seconds while this creature stood there staring. I couldn't help but fill the empty darkness with the sound of it growling. Now I understand why the coyotes went silent. It disappeared as it walked further back into the woods. I opened the door and took the dog with me. That was my worst sleep yet, as when I finally laid in bed, I was plagued with what would have happened if it weren't so cautious. If you are listening to this, one bit of advice. When the animals go quiet, that's because they bow in the presence of nature's true king. So you should bow too. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.